Oh. Okay, tubers. So I'll just finish testing that pack. That is pack three. Finished doing the internal resistance test of that whole pack, and they were in between 100 and 150. As I thought, they're not horrible. I don't know what the resistance test should be, but that's what that said it was. I'm going to have to run with it. These three stuffed cells had an internal resistance of 472, 234, and 295 milliohms. Milliamps? Milliohms, yeah. I can't remember what the capacity of those was, so I am going to test the capacity of those cells as well. Um, just to reiterate, but I dare say that was a really bad one that was self-discharging. Time will tell. We're going, to re we're going to continue these tests. These, these are going to be guinea pigs. Also, four guinea pigs here, all 3,000 milliamp hours. Uh, these one had 127, 123. What's that one? 150 and 157 milliamp um, milliohms resistance. And these were the 3,000, or the, the 3,000 lot, 3,000 amp hours, milliamp hours. God, I've got to get the terminology right. And someone asked what they were, so that's what those batteries were. Okay, so last night I ran a few more tests. I capacity tested all those cells. And I guess I have to cop it on the chin and say thanks to all the guys that forced me into actually doing this test. Uh, I've now realised that the um, resistance test may teach me something. No, it did teach me something. There's no doubt it taught me something. Now, I've tested hundreds and hundreds of cells for, milli, uh, for uh, resistance, for the milliohms, and haven't found a consistent result against anything. Now, these cells are no different. There's no consistency. But I'm really happy that I actually did test all of those cells in this one. So all of those cells, they're right, as I said earlier. These cells here... I mean that's got 2425 and I tested that twice and the second time it was for 2410 with with fairly high milli uh, uh, resistance and that one's got low capa or lower capacity and really really shocking resistance that was the one that was self discharging so I'm gonna correlate that self discharge with the high resistance possibly I don't know and that one's sort of middle of the road so moving forward I'm going to start using that and testing every cell for um, resistance and any other packs I'll take apart. Any other packs I have to take part apart for maintenance, I'll check it again as well. Now these ones here. Now I'm going to kick, sit back on my chair and cop one on the chin on this one because it looks like I must have stuffed up somewhere. Now they were all 3,000 million hours. I didn't write it on there for fun. But these have a button where you can hit this button and it changes to half amp draw. Now I tested those cells again at half an amp and they come out at 3000. I tested them at one amp and they come out with what's that 28, 27, 27 and, and 27. So it looks like I did something wrong with those cells. Not the end of the world. It really doesn't matter too much. But I concede defeat. I fucked it up. So there we are, YouTube. There's my series that is going to absolutely conclude anything to do with resistance testing. And I'll see you on the weekend when I get all this working. I've got to go and buy a new vice. I don't know if this will even come up, but the this is sort of on, a, on an angle. So I did this test. I drilled a hole. And it's closer on this side than it is on this side, which means it's not drawing the hole um, perfectly horizontally, which is not going to work for me. So that's where we're at. Thanks, YouTube, and I'll catch you on the next one.